Today, we're checking out properties in the top three cheapest places to buy real estate. Hello everyone, I'm Connor Ashley with Nosy Neighbor Real Estate. And if you love real estate, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you wanna check out any of these properties for yourself, they'll be listed on my blog at Nosy Neighbor Real Estate. So these are some of the top three cheapest, cheapest places you can buy real estate in all of the United States. So let's go ahead and check out some of these properties. I think you're gonna be super surprised at how nice some of them are. So let's take a look here. The first place we are at is Cleveland, Ohio. I'm like, okay, Cleveland, I don't know anything about you, but that's all right, we love it. Five bedrooms, two bathrooms, just over 2,000 square feet. This first property is $159,900. So it's almost five, or it is five bedrooms over 2,000 square feet, and it's less than 160,000. I love this sort of like Victorian look with the brick, the green. I do really like that. The bay windows in the front, it's cute. Love that. Very green, like the street, seems quiet. Great front porch here, really nice. You can fit a lot of furniture out there. There's room for activities on this front porch. Inside, needs a little attention, a little love, but it has some really great historic charm. You have the original wood flooring, the wood moldings, very intricate sort of details here. Very cute. I love the furniture. They've done sort of more of a modern furniture to sort of juxtapose the, the character and the charm of the interior. It's not gonna be this huge open floor plan because it's an older house and it's only $160,000. So it's not gonna be like an open floor plan like we're used to seeing nowadays, but it has some character and the spaces are really big. You have this cute little den back here. This would make like a great little office. I love the stairs and the railing, so cute. The kitchen has definitely been totally redone. From the floors, to the walls, to the paint, the cabinets, everything, it's been completely redone, which I'm happy they did that because I'm sure the old kitchen was just terrible. So this kitchen looks great, very functional. I might love to see like an island in here, but you have granite countertops, white cabinets, you have a subway tile backsplash, you know, the works. It's nice. Again, it's not an open floor plan, so it's not right there where everything else is but here's the bedroom great archways the doorways are so cute it has a lot of character honestly oh wow and look at the bathroom so what they did is they gut renovated the bathrooms in the kitchen that was the right choice new carpet here in the bedrooms everything's bright it's gray they did the moldings the baseboards in the white here it's nice it's really nice that would make a great little studio, a great little office right off the bedroom. And you have this upstairs room, sort of funky, fun, great playroom for children, something like that, I don't know. You got a big backyard, two car garage, looks like the garage is about to fall apart, but that's all right. You got money to spare, right? 160,000, would love to fence off the yard. Not bad, okay, I'm, I don't hate it. Check out this next house. So this is like luxury in Cleveland, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's only 1200 square feet. First of all, I love the craftsman style that they did here. They clearly updated the exterior paint siding, you know, the whole works, the roof looks newer and they still kept that brick chimney. Love that. So cute. You almost have like, maybe that's a little guest house. Oh, I love that little guest house in the backyard. This place is only 190,000. I'm like, wow. Okay. So you walk in here, new floors, new everything. Everything is brand new. This place appears to have been gutted. I don't know when it was built. Let's see. 1880. Oh, 1880. They've gutted this place for sure. Let's take a look here. Again, interior. Oh, so cute. That fan. That's a rich people fan. Recessed lighting. You're losing all the character and the charm of the last one, but this place is completely done. You do not have to worry about a thing. It's almost like you're buying a new house. I mean, brand new kitchen. Sure, it has darker cabinets, but like, still really nice. 190,000. The mortgage on 190,000, honey, it's nothing. Look at that bathroom, cute. I mean, they've done a really good job like updating everything. 
bathroom is fine. It's nothing groundbreaking. You have a blue light. That adds no value. If you're renovating your house, do not, don't do that with the mirror. That adds no value. There is no value being added there. Washer dryer, great. Love that house, super cute. A little small, 1,200 square feet, but otherwise cute. All right, right into the next one. It's under $100,000. We're still in Cleveland. Three bedroom, two bathroom. It's 1,300 square feet. Under $100,000. I don't even know if you can get a loan that little at this point. Cute on the outside. I like the brick, the white. Seems like a cute little neighborhood. Again, big front porch. I appreciate a big front porch. It does look like the street might be a little bit of a busier street. Oh, that carpet is terrible. But again, lots of charming character here. Love the fireplace. Love the built-ins. Just rip out that carpet. Literally rip it out. Put in brand new, like, luxury vinyl plank. Easy peasy done. Here's the dining room. Chandelier is terrible. Love the built-ins. It's been freshly painted. You have the archways. There's a lot of character here. And it's under $100,000 unbelievable the kitchen needs some help so they did this terrible laminate floor i mean i think it's terrible my opinion um they didn't really do much updating since the 90s in this kitchen honestly a hundred thousand dollars rip it out rip it out put an ikea kitchen in there you're good to go good to go but again if if all you can afford is a hundred thousand dollars this place is nice you got a functioning kitchen, multiple bedrooms, multiple bathrooms. It's clean. It's nice. You have this basement. The basement freaks me out. This freaks me out. Don't like that. Oh, don't like that either. But again, maybe you're used to that. $100,000. Oh, that bathroom needs a lot of help. I would not go in that bathroom. Little garage, little deck out back. Look, it needs a little love. But for $100,000, what did you expect? I can't. I've never even seen a $100,000 house and I'm a realtor. Not in Cleveland. So. All right, now we're moving on to the second city. The second city is Detroit. So this one's $170,000. It's four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 1,650 square feet. Let's take a look at the map, right? We're in Detroit. Similar sort of area as Cleveland, I feel like, the Midwest. Not sure what's happening there. Why is real estate so cheap? I love that it's a Tudor. Mm, I love like a Tudor, the brick Tudor with the A-frame and those windows, super cute curb appeal here. No garage. You come in, clearly they've done some renovating, but they've kept some of the charm. That fireplace, really nice, cute. The, the, the wood, um, you know, laminate, not my favorite, but it's all right. Those windows did look new though. They look new. I like the moldings, I like the ceilings. It's very nice, very cute. Here's the kitchen, not bad. Again, we're not having open floor plans here. These are old houses, okay? Um, but they've done a really good job maximizing the space and this kitchen looks great. I love that stone that they used for the countertop. And, you know, your typical all white kitchen. Very nice. I can't believe $170,000. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms. Unbelievable. These bedrooms look great size. Bathrooms look awesome. You have this huge basement for extracurriculars. Lovely. Love it. Here's the outside, a two-car garage. Wow. There you go. Here's your floor plan. Check that out. Plenty of space. Plenty of space here. Let's take a look at the next one. This one is the best one out of all of the most expensive but i'm pretty sure this one is the best you'll see towards the end there's some really cute ones too but this one is probably my favorite but comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite so this one is just under two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. it's five bedrooms three bathrooms 2100 square feet obviously in detroit look at how cute this is they totally redid everything the outside the gray brick the white accents oh so cute that door brand new so cute love it floors fine great love the black brick on the fireplace love the windows everything is bright mm, love it look at this kitchen look at how nice that kitchen is obviously maybe you need to buy the appliances maybe you don't i don't know this one's two hundred eighty thousand. that can be negotiated 
It's an open floor plan. They've taken some walls out. You got the white quartz countertops. You have these gray cabinets. It's a nice open kitchen. Beautiful. Love the huge island. Don't you love like a big grand island right when you walk in? I love how with the staircase there, they did it like black or left that sort of darker wood. Super nice. Look at how cute this bathroom is. It's sort of unique with the, the ceiling that way, but I mean, the shower itself, super fun, super unique. And that bathtub is just really nice with the skylight. Cute, cute, cute. The black tile, it's different, but I really like it. And the flooring, it's cool. I don't know what this room is. It looks like maybe like a balcony that they put windows on. I do appreciate that there's no carpet. I haven't seen carpet yet. Love that. The fireplace extends into one of these bedrooms. Great touch. Lots of windows. Lots of bathrooms. All redone. All very similar. They must have had a sale on the floor. A sale on the tile. Hey, I'll take what I can get. 279000 It's over 2,000 square feet. I'll take what I can get. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Another big basement lots of space here to park things a whole concrete pad park whatever you'd like here it's available okay yeah i really like that let me know what you think but i really like that all right here is our last one in detroit and then we're moving on to the next city so stick around to see what the next city is but this one is one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. it's three bedrooms two bathrooms 1500 square feet let's take a look here Again, we have this sort of like Tudor sort of style with the brick and the A-frame. Very cute. Character. Inside, I can tell you right off the bat, they've done some painting, they've done some flooring, but they've kept some of the charm. Don't love the stained glass. Don't love that? I would have gotten rid of that. Okay, cute. The walls and the ceilings are very textured. Let's just scrape that off. That would be great. But the floors look really nice. And those big windows, oh, so cute. With the fireplace, I mean, it's really cute. And they've done some modern little staging here. Very cute. Big dining room. Oh, and a totally redone kitchen. Granite countertop, white cabinets. And you gotta buy the appliances. It's only 140 grand, so gotta save some money for those appliances. Mm. All right, so they didn't redo this bathroom. I feel like you can get a professional cleaning team in here to clean all that grout and just re make it look a little bit more presentable. New carpet. Here's the outside. Ooh, lots of cracks in that concrete. Okay. 140 grand. That is not terrible. Not terrible. All right, so the last city we're going to is Memphis, Tennessee. Did you have any idea about any of these places? I feel like I kind of knew about Detroit, right? I've always heard about the cheaper um, big houses that you can buy for like 10 grand. I didn't know about Cleveland. Who knew? Who knew you could get a mansion in Cleveland for 200,000? And here we have Memphis, Tennessee. 165 grand is this first property. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. They don't list the square footage. Here we go. Okay, cute. It's a single level ranch style. They definitely painted the outside. Cute. Okay, the inside, they've done some updates. New floors, these photos are terrible. Again, it's only 165 grand. They probably didn't spring for the $100 or $200 professional photos. It's updated, it's nice. Not the cutest, very basic, but it's clean, it's nice. Brand new, they still have the plastic on all the appliances and all of the cabinets. You are getting basically a brand new house with this one. And it's cute, I like the exterior and I like a ranch style, right? We don't, we don't need, we don't crave stairs. Who craves stairs, right? All right, here's the next one in Memphis. It's four bedrooms, one bathroom. I wish I had one more bathroom. I believe this one is pretty small, but it says the market rent in here is $1,000. This property is listed at $80,000. That is the cheapest one we've seen. 
$80,000. It says your estimated mortgage is $400 a month. That's wild. And the market rent is a thousand, so. Okay, we're kind of like in the wilderness here. It's cute, it's a cute little house here, like a little bungalow. Ah, oh, so cute. Look here, right when you walk in, you have a nice laminate, like this dark, rich laminate flooring. Really cute lighting fixture. Lighting fixtures just make a place feel nicer. And they're not expensive. That was probably a couple hundred bucks. That door, really nice. Love that door. This is like your living room area. Here's your kitchen. Again, it's small. This place is small. But it is ample if you're, you know, a renter. This is plenty. Love the tile. Love the blue gray cabinets with that sort of white granite countertop. Oh, love it all. You need to buy the appliances. Another cute light fixture though. Love that. Ample space. Here's your little dining space. Okay. So that front one was your living. Here's your dining. You got your kitchen. Really cute. Really cute spaces. They've done good updates that I think are going to add a lot of value to a prospective buyer. 80 grand. Can you believe it? Oh, look how cute that is. Really cute bathroom, tub, love the tile. It's the only bathroom, so it's a little tight. And it's 400 a month. What do you expect, right? And we're in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, there are definitely multiple rooms that would fit beds. So, lots of bedrooms, okay. That was sort of surprising, right? From the outside, I'm like, oh, okay, it's probably cute, small. And then on the inside, you're like, oh, so they did some really nice updates, but it is small. So, all right, here's our last property. It is $225,000 in Memphis, Tennessee, and it is probably the nicest, I would say. Not my favorite. My favorite was that one in Detroit, but this one I think is going to be a lot of your favorites. So it's four bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,800 square feet in Memphis, Tennessee. Let's take a look. It's this really adorable little bungalow, and they have completely redone everything top to bottom. First of all, look at the landscaping. Look at the exterior. I love the yellow door. Just that pop of color adds a lot of character. The front porch here is super cute. They've had the professional photography. They have the staging. They have done it right. And it's, you know, a little pricey, 225 grand. But here we go. So you walk in, oh, we have carpet. That's okay. That's all right. That's an easy fix. Everything's been painted. You have a nice fireplace. It's pretty. Nice little dining room and a huge kitchen. This is really probably the best kitchen we've seen so far. White cabinets, granite countertops, tile floor, and it comes with the appliances. At $225,000, oh, it comes with the appliances. You got the pantry, plenty of counter space. Oh, and then they have the cute original wood in some of these bedrooms here. I would have loved to see that saved throughout. Got a laundry room, another bedroom. Here's a bathroom. Okay, it's not terrible. Here's the upstairs here. So this one is the biggest one in Memphis. So it's 1,800 square feet. So maybe that explains the price point. But they've done a good job renovating it. Check out this walk-in closet. Tons of space in here. This loft area here, very, very nice. Another bathroom. And just the exterior. Super cute. All right, so those were the top three cheapest places you can buy a home. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you like this video and wanna see more of the cheapest places around the US and what the real estate looks like in those locations, comment down below, subscribe to the channel for new videos every single week and like this video if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.